Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode in my absolute beginner series on Farming Simulator 19. Um, now I know it seems like that I don't produce these maybe as quickly as uh, you'd like me to, but the fact of the matter is that some of the videos that I want to do um, take a really long time to set up, and this is actually one of those videos. So today we're going to be talking about animal husbandry and... It's going to be all about cows, all about cattle this time around. Um, now, I should point out, I am not going to get into how to raise cattle on Seasons, if you have the Seasons mod. That is a completely different story on how to do that. And this is um, a beginner series for the vanilla game, for people that are just getting into the game. Um, seasons is a, a completely different thing that I may do a separate beginner series on. Uh, I, I don't know. Um, I'm not sure if I know even how to tackle that, but so what we had to do is we had to get two cow barns here. I wanted to get them close and my landscaping is horrible, but I did the best I can do. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these uh, uh, these cow pastures, and these are the vanilla in-game cow pastures. These are the ones that when the minute you get the game, these are available to you. I will show you really quick right now in the store where to find them. You go over to Animal Pens and Placeables, and I am using the cow pasture. Not the large, um, just a regular hundred thousand dollars for it um, or euros or pounds or whatever currency you use uh, they hold it holds 50 cows um, you know so yeah you, you place these and I'm not going to get into landscaping because I'm really not good at it as you can see um, but anyway so we have here is this is your animal dialogue now what you could do is you could do this a couple ways you can Buy your cattle right through here, where if we click L3, the animal dealer will show up and you can buy your cattle. Um, you can choose what colors you want. If you want brown... Um, now, these don't produce milk, I don't believe. So, we're going to go with just the regular cows today. Um, now, another thing that you can do if you want for a more immersive experience, um, you can buy a livestock trailer and you can actually drive to the livestock market um, on the map. So let's just see here. Okay, so your animal dealer on this map is down here. And this is Felsbrunn. This is the base game map. You get Felsbrunn and you get, um, was it, Ravenport in the base game. So that's what this is. This is the Felsbrunn map. So this is the animal dealer. You could take a uh, a live a livestock trailer and you can go down to the animal dealer you can buy the animals and then you can bring them back and this is where you can empty them but what we're going to do for argument's sake is try to get this video um, streamlined as much as possible we're going to buy all of our cows right through here so There you go. So we're basically going to fill it up. And as you can see, we have our cows all in there, all happy. So we have to give them water. We have to give them food. Now, water is easy enough. No uh, real explanation there. I believe this is the water trigger. Okay, this one's actually the water trigger. So now it will it will water your cows according to how many cows you have. The more cows you have, the more water it takes. And this is probably going to take all eight thousand liters of this because there's a lot of cows here. So what we're going to do is we're going to check into the um, the menu, the animal menu. So. Scroll on over to the cow symbol. And now we have cows. And as you can see, our water is very low. It's going to take a lot of water to uh, to get these, these cows a drink here. 
Um, but while we're in here, we're going to check on this here. So, cleanliness, water, and straw. Those are your conditions. Food, they eat total mixed ration, hay silage, hay pellets, and they eat grass. Now, we might as well discuss this right while we're here. The total mixed ration is the highest quality food you can feed your cows. That's going to give the best um, milk producing capabilities from them if you feed them total mixed ration. Now, hay, silage, and hay pellets, they're good. Uh, grass is good. Now, the interesting thing is in FS17, you had to feed them all of those. You had to make sure they have all those. But in this one, as long as you give them the total mixed ration, they don't need anything else. Um, of course, you can feed them whatever you want. However you want to play the game is completely up to you. So, um, you know, like normally what I'll do is maybe feed the cows total mixed ration in the wintertime. And then in the summertime, I'll feed them uh, the hay silage or, or the grass even. Uh, now, the productivity, reproduction rates and next animals, th those have to wait. You have to have them for a while before that comes out. And they produce manure, slurry, and they produce milk. And we're going to get into that a little later on because there's something I need to check because I know on FS17, if you gave the cows straw, they would produce manure. If you didn't give the cows straw, they didn't produce manure. So that's why I have the second cow pasture there because I want to test that. I don't want to just say that's how it is and that not really be how it is. So, um, yeah, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to disconnect that for now and we're going to feed these guys. So now I would imagine this is where you'll blow the straw. And again, guys, this is different on every map. Uh, when maps that use custom cow pastures and um, cow barns and stuff like that, um, these triggers will always be different, so it won't always be the exact same. Um, just like this here, this is your slurry. And this over here is your manure. Now, on a map like this, with um, this particular cow pasture, your manure will automatically fill up in here as it produces. Some maps, you'll actually have to muck out the cow barn. It'll it'll actually be in the barn that you'll have to clean it out. And you'll have to find somewhere to store it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to feed these uh, cows the total mixed ration. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to feed the other cows grass pellets. And I think I'm going to need a lot more TMR than that to feed these cows. I may have gotten too many cows. I did. That's okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have to get a bigger trailer. And just to make life easier for me, um, I am using a mod. Now, I know that on the beginner series, I'm saying I don't usually use mods. But... That right there, that silo, you can buy anything out of that silo. Water, milk, fuel, um, herbicide, uh, uh, fertilizer. Um, you can buy wheat, grass, TMR, silage, literally everything that you can produce in the game, you can get out of that. So that's kind of why we're using that. But uh, So now I'm going to go try to set this up, guys, and... I will be back then. Okay, so we have these guys fed, and I'm going to say that that's good enough. They're at 128,013 liters, and they're uh, pretty much full. So now all I have to do is I have to do the same thing over there, and I'm going to use grass pellets just to see what the difference is with how they produce. And as you, I will just show you guys this um, real quick. So as we pull up to this, we just select start filling. As you can see, there's total mixed ration, chaff, wood chips, silage, 
grass, hay, straw, fertilizer, manure, pig food, lime, hay pellets, straw pellets, hay pellets, yeah, straw pellets, wheat, barley, oat, canola, sunflowers, soybeans, corn, potatoes, sugar beets, sugar cane, seeds, and back to total mixed rations. So as you can see, uh, we can really do anything with this silo. So we're going to go with the hay pellets, if we can find them. Hay pellets, right there. Fill them with that. And then I will continue feeding, and I will come back when I'm done. Okay, this is very interesting because I don't understand. Wait a minute. Okay, something very strange happened here. This holds 47,000 liters, but yet. That's full. I have... Wait, what? I have 11,125 liters left, so... Wait. This takes... more pellets... than this tractor... this uh, trailer is actually supposed to hold. That is very interesting. That is very interesting. Um, that's actually something new to me that I didn't... Uh, I did not even know that, so... Huh. Let's just pull this over here. And we're going to move that water tanker out of the way. And we're going to get the other one to make sure these, uh, these cows have all kinds of water. So that's very interesting. I don't know. I mean, I guess it could be because pellets are smaller. I don't know. I, I really can't figure that out. But that's uh, that's definitely interesting. And if you guys just heard that, um, it is starting to thunder. <laughs> at my house right now. So, I don't know. I may have to... Zoom this a little later now. Can I? No, I can't. That's alright, though. So, I kind of splurged with the, uh, the tractor trailer. I, I, I never use this thing. I think it's such a cool-looking vehicle. Uh, Great-looking tractor trailer. This is uh, reminds me of one I used to drive. Um, so, yeah, just for this purpose, I thought I'd splurge a little and get this so we can give the cows some water in, in style. <laughs> so, again, I'm going to show you with this, um, silo here. Water, milk. Uh, 
Um, so I, you know, I may do a video of like some must-have mods, and uh, if I do that, this will definitely be part of those because this uh, this silo really is great. So, now they're watered, and now the only other thing we have to do is we have to get some hay to give to the cows over on this side here that I just gave water to. Okay, so I know I said, uh, <laughs> um, hmm, how does this work? I think these might have to lay down, actually. Ooh, I don't know. So, I know I said no mods, but, um... I really needed to make my life easier for this video. So, I am using a couple mods. Like, um... This bale spike, for one. And, uh... That bale shredder also is a mod. Okay, there we go. So, our one triangle. So, I guess we did load those right, because it's working. We kind of got a pile there, because I screwed up. I didn't know that this couldn't rotate. Like I said, this is the first time using this, so... Let's take a look at the animals and see how they're doing here for straw. They're going to take a lot of straw. That's what I was afraid of. So see, already, I think I'm right because they're not producing manure, they're producing slurry, and they're producing milk. And these cows are producing slurry and milk, but not manure. So I'm pretty sure they need straw for the manure. Um... So the question is how much... I, I, I definitely overdid it with the cows. I shouldn't have took so many cows, but I just feel that the numbers will produce uh, quicker the more cows I had to show you guys and like I say this is um this could take a, a pretty long time for me to put this video together but it's worth it oof man we're not even close So I just want to kind of make this as a point that um, what you see me doing with the uh, the bale shredder, I prefer to play the game uh, more immersively. So I like to use like uh, bale shredders and stuff like that to do this. But if you don't want to do that, you really don't have to. You can fill up a trailer with loose straw, and as you can see, it will work. It will accept it. And as you can see, the numbers are going up 
So you don't have to use the bell shredder if you don't want to. Um, you, you can just fill your trailer with loose straw and you can dump it in the, uh, um, the box area there, the, uh, the trigger, <laughs> and you'll get the same result. So now we should have pretty happy cows. As you can see, um, all these cows here, they're at 90%. And these cows, they're getting up there. They're getting there. Um, but they are probably not going to be as um, as healthy as these because I gave these the total mixed ration. And these guys are just eating the hay pellets. Uh, but that's okay. I kind of wanted to do that just as an experiment. Now, as you can see, they're still not producing manure, but I'm, I'm almost positive that the straw makes all the difference with the manure. Now, I don't know if they're going to get that way, but this is where you... Oh, yeah, like right there. See that? You can see that spot right there. This is where you clean them. And basically, all you're going to do is you're going to take a, uh, a shovel. Um, you, you can put it on a front loader... Um, a skid steer, a telehandler, you know, a wheel loader, anything like that that you can put a bucket on. You can just scrape this up, clean it up, and you can just dump it right back in the trigger. Um, you don't have to dump it, like, in the actual trough. This, uh, this whole area here that's marked by these yellow and black triangle things, uh, markers, this is your trigger. So you can just dump it back in here, and it'll just recycle it back into their food. So that's how you clean them. And I don't I don't think I really need to show you guys how to do that. I think you uh, I think you get get the drift of how to do that. Um, but you know what? Just in case what the hell. So basically anything you got you could a telehandler, skid steer, the front loader, a wheel loader, or you could get front loader attachment for your tractor. Get a bucket right here, a bucket. And you just come here, scrape that up, dump it back in, and you're good to go. Now, when you're taking care of your animals, that's one thing you have to look at. You have to go and you have to check. You have to make sure they're clean. You have to make sure they have water. You have to make sure they have food. Um, like I say, with the straw... I think that's... Hmm. Well, you know, obviously the straw isn't going to be significant in their productivity because these cows without straw are at 90%. These cows with straw are all at 79%. But they don't have the total mixed ration. Um, probably the only thing stopping these cows from hitting 100% is the straw, I would say. But... Now the big question is, um, the manure. Will these guys produce manure with the straw, and will these guys not? And again, my guess would be that these cows should produce more milk on the total mix ration than these cows will on, on just the grass. Okay, guys, so I sped up time literally just a little bit. I think we just maybe um, sped up an hour ahead. And as you can see, our cows that have straw are producing manure. So let's go into the animal menu. So, these cows have straw. And they have 256 liters of manure. 427 liters of slurry, 198 liters of milk. The cows that do not have straw have no manure, 640 liters of slurry, and 230 liters of milk. So, I am correct about that. Um, if you don't give your cows straw, they will not produce manure. Um, if you give them straw, they will produce manure and slurry. If you don't give them straw, they'll produce just slurry. And... The cows that are having just a total mixed ration, I mean, 
198 liters, 230. Um, you know, it's not even a 100 liter difference. It, it's, I mean, what is it? It's like a 32 liter difference you're getting. So, as far as I can tell... I mean, it's not that great of a, of a difference, giving them the total mix ration. But I'm sure that number will keep uh, going up the longer you have them and, and the longer you feed them. So the other, the other thing we're going to do is we're going to grab the uh, smaller milk tanker. And we're going to show you where to go and how to fill that up. Alright, so we hook onto our little milk tanker here, and this is another mod, guys. This is um this isn't the standard in-game one. I just use this because it's a little more to get around. So you're gonna come up to this trigger here. And Okay. And there we go. I mean, there wasn't a lot there. With this with this particular uh, tanker, you have to open the cover to fill it, which is pretty cool. This is the first time I've used this one. I just wanted to use something that was a little easier to get around. So let's just close that. And now we'll just go and we'll collect the milk from our other farm here and see if it works a little better with that open. There we go. Start filling. There we go. And now, all the milk from our cow sheds, uh, pastures, barns, whatever you want to call them, are empty. And yeah, so the ones that aren't getting straw are not making manure. The ones that are getting straw, they definitely are making manure. So that's uh, that's actually fantastic. That's actually exactly what I wanted to find out. Um, I don't want to give you guys false information. Um, as far as I can tell, I think that's really all there is to keeping the cows. Um, I can't think of anything else. The TMR, I am going to do a separate video on how to mix the TMR because I feel this video is going to be long enough as it is. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do a shorter video of, of showing you guys how to mix TMR but like I say, TMR you can also buy in the store, I believe. Um, I don't know if it's a mod or not. I think it may be. Yeah, so let's see here. It's under pallets. I'm definitely thinking that it's a... It's, yeah, it definitely is a mod. Yeah, total mix ration, you can get a pal of it. It is a mod. Like I say, I, I think I'm going to do a video of, like, just mods that I think are really my must-have, okay? Let me get that out there, okay? It's my must-have mods. So, uh, yeah, guys, I hope that you found this video useful. Um, I'm going to try to edit this video down so it's not that long, but... This is kind of one of those topics that it, it's really hard to make a short video because there's a lot to go over, and I really hope I didn't miss anything. I think I got everything. Um, I do realize that I didn't show you guys, like, filling up the, the slurry, but this is a slurry pit. Basically, any tanker that, that you can um, use slurry, a slurry tanker, you just bring it here and click L3, and it should fill it up. Um, the manure, the manure, again, you just use a bucket, any bucket on, on, on anything, a front loader, telehandler, um, wheel loader, anything like that. You just scoop it up and, you know, you could put this in a manure spreader. Um, you can use this for the greenhouses, you know, so there's, there's a lot you can do with that. Okay, guys. So with that being said, um, again, I hope you guys found this useful. Please, if I miss something or if there's something that you want to know that I didn't get in this video, 
just drop it in the comments and I will try to comment back to you. Um, another good way is to join my Discord and you can talk to me directly there and we can chat and stuff. Um, so yeah, I hope everybody's having a great day. I hope you all have a great weekend and we'll see you next time.